Hi, this is Ryan Brown from mockquestions.com. In this video, we'll discuss five technical writer interview questions from our website. We'll go over each question and some advice on how to answer them, along with an answer example. Afterwards, if you found this video helpful, please like and share. That would mean a lot to us. Okay, let's get started. Question number one, can you describe the job of a technical writer? An interviewer will ask this question to begin the conversation, learn more about you, and collect information they can use throughout the interview. You should always be prepared for this question during an interview for a technical writer's position. A good way to respond to this question is to review the job posting and use elements of it in your answer. You can also lean on your experience in this role to describe some of the tasks you complete each day. Here's our answer example. The job of a technical writer is much more than just creating documents about technical topics. It involves a great deal of research, planning, collaborating with other organization members to understand their needs, and speaking with subject matter experts on the topic you will be writing about. While the majority of time is spent composing the document, it also requires editing, revisions, and reviewing the document with the project stakeholders to get their approval. Question number two, what are some of the steps you take to create exceptional technical documents? The interviewer will ask you this question to learn more about how you perform the job of a technical writer. They're not looking for the day-to-day -day routine tasks you perform in this role, but rather the things you do that are unique to your writing style, resulting in technical documents that meet the highest standards in the industry. You can answer this question by quickly walking them through your normal writing process, highlighting the steps which make you unique in this profession. Like most technical writers, when working on a project, I move through the project life cycle of requirements, research, writing, reviewing, and editing, and acceptance by the client. One of the things I do differently and what I feel makes me unique is the emphasis I put on collaborating with the project stakeholders to clearly understand their desired outcomes and the requirements for the project. I also spend more time researching than usual so I clearly understand the subject matter and become comfortable writing about it. The last thing I do is meticulously check my spelling, grammar, and punctuation to ensure that the document is error-free. Together, these steps result in technical documents that meet the industry's highest standards, contain no errors, and are completed with minimal rewrites and edits. Question number three. How do you engage with subject matter experts when you need information for a project you are working on? Technical writers consistently use subject matter experts to obtain information about a topic related to the document they are creating. The subject matter experts or SMEs may be product developers, software developers, product managers, or other experts knowledgeable about the document's topic. These same people are typically project stakeholders and should be willing to cooperate with you. The interviewer wants to ensure that your engagement strategy respects the SME's time and is not confrontational or aggressive. When engaging with subject matter experts, I first confirm whether the individual I will be contacting has the knowledge I need and our stakeholders in the project. If this is the case, my approach is pretty straightforward, asking for their time and describing why I need to meet with them. If the SMEs do not have a stake in the project, I need to be more diplomatic when requesting their time. I'm a little more flexible about when we can meet or have a call, and I emphasize the benefits of working together for both them and the organization. I try not to depend on any single SME too often by building a portfolio of experts both within and outside of the organization. Question number four, how has your attention to detail helped you in some of the previous projects you've worked on? The interviewer will ask you this question because attention to detail is a key requirement of this job. You should come to the interview with several stories about how meeting the requirements for this job has helped you be successful as a technical writer. Specific examples which align with the company's operations will help the interviewer visualize how you can do the same thing for their organization. Attention to detail has helped me in virtually every project I've worked on as a technical writer. A specific example is when I create a white paper about a complex topic related to software development. I use the term tech throughout the document. However, Microsoft Spellchecker 
automatically corrected this to text without my knowledge. Since I always review my documents several times before releasing them, I noticed this error and was able to correct it before the document was published and distributed. Question number five, how would you describe your writing style? You can anticipate being asked this question in any interview you attend for a technical writer's job. The interviewer will want to ensure that your style matches their requirements. Being honest about your writing style and describing it in a manner that makes it clear to the interviewer will either help you to be selected for the role or disqualify you for a job that you probably would not have been successful at due to conflicts between your style and the employer's requirements. I would describe my writing style as being highly professional, easy to understand, and comprehensive. I strive to communicate using straightforward, simple language with as little technical jargon, acronyms, or industry-specific terminology that the reader may not be familiar with. When possible, I include examples, illustrations, and other formatting techniques to ensure the reader clearly understands the subject matter and to guide them to the conclusion I am promoting in the document. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, it'd be greatly appreciated if you could subscribe to our channel. It really does help motivate us to continue creating videos. Thanks again, and we hope you stick around to watch more interview practice videos from Mock Questions.